Very sad I missed it. But Xeno 300 could be even better, and it could feature some of the players that you see right here. We've got Vivi and Bobo. A, a nice sighting from Bobo. Like, one of the... Like, of all the characters that have come and gone in Tri-State, Snake yeah. is one of those that has experienced a steady decline uh, with players like Wraith not really attending as much, Sensei not really attending as much. So in Jersey, it's really only Ram. Mm -hmm. And in New York, Bobo is still repping the character and doing it extremely, extremely well. Oh, yes. We have had fun uh, starting to, like, dabble their uh, legs into that. Uh, obviously, not as good as the Duck Hunt yet, but a natural transition from that projectile character and traps. Right, of course. Uh, this is a tricky one, though. Uh, like, I want to say it's a tricky one, right? Because Snake, you want to have all of these grenade uh, use utility. Uh, Nikita as an easy edge guard for uh, many play many characters that can uh, get struck by it. All of these extra tools. However, Bounce throws a wrench into that situation. Except right. for two key traits. One, Snake just has really good frame data. Oh, yes. And two, C4 detonation doesn't count as a projectile, so it doesn't get reflected by Bounce. Which is great. That's actually what put them in a bad situation there on the first stock, but... Uh... Answering right back, even a piece. Of course, Hero still has plenty of tools in order to counteract uh, counteract a lot of snakes' like setup time with nature, uh, with just like getting buffs and any sort of downtime that you give Hero is to the character's benefit. Oh yes, because all uh, and Vivi, Vivi is so good at getting those bounces. It's one of their specialties. I don't know if like RNG is on their side or something. Uh, but... Bounce is a higher chance to be pulled as long as it's not active. Ah. But also, it's just nice to have. It's yes. just a good thing to have on your on your docket. Same with that accelerado. Now you can really chase Snake off stage, oh. or you just miss the sportsman. Okay, okay you did no it. Okay, no crit, no crit. <laughs> Still living. I kind of honestly, I kind of thought the forward smash was out of range. It was like, oh, you just whipped that shit, but he didn't. No. <laughs> I think he's trying to get like kind of a tipper, but mm, there's no tipper there's for no here. There's no tipper now. You just looking, you just gotta you just gotta get the crit. Uh oh. Don't have enough MP. No. The downside of Accelerado, right? You gain so much range of movement, but it does make you a fastballer. And yes. Vivi did not have enough MP to make it back, having to rely on Frizz now as Bobo gets a chance to play into that snake range, setting up some traps, but missing that rising there afterwards. Swiss, we are hoping to see we're hoping to see Bobo here like hold on to this lead if you're any sort of Bobo fans, but Vivi long, has got the chance to make it back. As long as he just keeps pressuring him, uh, making sure he doesn't actually get uh, they get those, uh, you know, menu items. All right. Great pressure there with the grenade. Just forcing their way through the thunder. Slow lob grenade. Good punish there from Vivi. Not giving a ton left. And really low on mana. Trying to get the back row C4 set up. Super clean uh, aware. Oh, bounces back. So Mortar is uh, not going to be a good option here. Instead, you're going to have to go for the C4. Some surprise grenades. Try C4 missing. Snake still, still living at 169. Oh, dodging back. You need to psych up here. If you're Vivi, you get it immediately and go right for the up tilt. Not even trying to waste time with like the mix up between a grab. And don't forget here, like 67 mana is where you generally want to be. Kafriz can kill at absurd, absurd percents. Like uh, everything was looking pretty good from the spell wise, wow. but the setup there from Bobo was clean. That C4 hitting that shield and enough for a shield poke with that up tilt. Excellent. Right, let's, let's check that again. Not, not your last set, John. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we, we know. We get it. You did great. <laughs> I guess I you're missed, a good player. I missed a, I missed a clip button. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, Again, bad streamer alert. SM woo, woo, woo. SMH my head. SMH my head. Yeah, we can let's go to these. But I really want to focus on that last stock. Sure. Kind of, and, and like the general awareness with Bobo of his C4, like planting it here, like awareness of the Zune. And general just, awareness of right, how plus shield. 100 it is. Yeah, like look at <laughs> look at the shield health as well. This so see. Uh, up to his hitbox is crazy. Oh, he dropped shield. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought that shield. He jumped. He's in, he was in wow, jump squad. No. He was aware, like, good on Vivi, though. Like, they kind of realized, like, mm -hmm. oh, like, an up tilt here might shield poke me. Like, F to one is, like, going to be, F to one, two might uh, really do some damage here. I've got to get out of this situation. But Bobo, I, and just snake up tilt in general. Yeah, like, you just throw that out, be safe. Oh, yeah. Like, that's, that's a very, very high reward situation for Bobo, as is this ledge trap. Right, Nikita. Never actually, mind. First Zoom. time we've seen that bracket, he's not actually brought that out on stream at all. Doesn't need it. That's true. But I, I think you're 100% on the money, though, and I'm just realizing yeah. it. Like, 
Bobo be edge guarding without the edge guard 9000. Exactly. <laughs> I will no, say, no, just grenades and mortar, go oh, for it. Yeah. Nikita is not very useful in this matchup for edge guarding because it's like, yes, I sent out the Nikita zoo. That's or, true. Or yes, I send out the Nikita bounce. I mean, that's like the, the trick, but like, just oh, to not use no. it at all. Also, <laughs> yeah. No, no, okay, that's enough. So long, farewell. We'll see you again uh, next stock here, Boba, who again does these rising there. It's very, it's almost reminiscent of a, like, almost a Palutena esque kind of counterplay for <laughs> the, uh, against Hero, because you want to hit the Hero on his startup before he's able to come down with, like, a big old fair or a big old back air, something that takes a long time to wind up. So you jump and meet him in midair. That is correct. Uh, it has similar use cases to CSS's forward air. Yeah, it's it's like I'm going to stick out these very long limbs into the airspace, so don't jump. All right, Thank Bobo you, John, just really for that sorry. validation. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, feel, I feel correct now. As, uh, that goes that no, day. I was agreeing with you. Yeah, that's what I mean. I feel validated. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you have been witnessed. <laughs> like, thank you, Mr. Top Player. <laughs> all right, C4 down there. Keep an eye out on that, folks. All right, bounce isn't in play here, but that fire is. Some interesting movement in the corner here from Bobo, but he's still stuck against those sweeping hitboxes. Having to go high, which only does so much against uh, Hero up tilt. tilt. Like, that's a real trick when it comes to landing or playing around Hero. Like, his movement stats, with the exception of when he has Accelerottle, isn't all that great, but Vivi is so good at positioning themselves around in order to find uh, these massive anti-airs like a Rising Nair or a giant up tilt, which basically should just be his up smash. Yeah, and they have actually been doing a good job of keeping that fire charge, so when Snake does come in, it's a nice burst option to just, hey, stay away. For sure. C4 planted, though. Oh, going for the grab. Oh! Nice. Yeah, the explosion just hitting him. Hitbox is big. Hitbox is indeed sizable as the immediate bounce comes in from VB. Looking like they're pretty calm in the position of just like willing to hold the corner, setting up both buffs and going another immediately oof. for the dash attack. Sorry, another uh, psych up here. The just instant shield break is coming. Yo. Thank you, John. <laughs> curse or curse? That boring. was also and a crit. 100 <laughs> damage, baby. You're just, you're just gone. 100 <laughs> damage. Can we get a replay and look at uh, Bubble's face there? Because he just kind of looked at the camera. He's like, I mean, he didn't know. He didn't. Oops. I mean, so, so. Do you, you might, like, me, like, he's up. <laughs> obviously, he's like, I'm probably dead here. Yeah, he's yeah. absolutely dead here. Yeah, and then, and let's then. watch the numbers go. Bwah. No number. Oh, <laughs> not like that. <laughs> Love to see it. He did the crit input. Good job. The yeah. crit input. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's a 360 spin. Transferable yeah. skills for playing fight again characters. Yeah, you do a 2 1 3, 2 1 4 5. And then A A A. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Or just play Faust and Guilty Gear. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> But just to get this out of the way, if Hero has both Oomph and Excel and Psych up on, do not shield. Oh no. Your no. shield will break in one hit. Yeah, down and tilt. And it's horrifying. For, uh, down air, forward tilt, one, two, forward smash, back air. Uh, you either have to let Hero hit you, which is horrifying, Ouch. or run away from him for 10 seconds. Eh, force the habits. Yeah, and it's tough with Snake as well. Like, that's in a. Like, you're so reliant on these trades, but any one of those trades could just. just Immediately Whoa. detrimental. Snake back air is a crime. That was <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what he clanked with there. He cranked with a, a frizzle, uh, ah. the, the second stage fireball. But wow. The, like, snake back air, I, I kid you not, it is basically, it, it's a little bit more FAF. But aside from that, it's frame seven. It lingers a long time, has a ton of priority. Like, it's basically Link Nair put on snake back air. Yeah. Like, it's, it's crazy. Great. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> That's why you see so many snakes land with it, because you also go profile as snake like lies flat on the ground. Yeah, and plus on shield, it's, yeah. it's just amazing. Okay, man. Speaking I of which, that jab, not too bad either. Of course, yeah. Having an anti-air jab is just super, super nice. Good grounded buttons in general are something super good in the snake matchup particularly, because you want to be pressuring snake in positions where you have the ability to pop him up and then start uh, your advantage state instead of just like trying to jump in on him all the time. And that up be out of shield from Vivi actually, pretty good pop-up option. Oh yeah. I've actually been seeing that a lot in this bracket. It's, uh, it's surprising, and it's just as surprising as that C4. Did they lose the C4? Feels like Ooh. Vivi's been getting a hit by a lot of C4s. 
Yeah, they lost the C4. It was right on the platform. They were just standing on top of yeah, it. Yeah, like, no way does someone just stand there and be like, yep. It is, here is perfectly here. fine. True, yeah. As you All can see, fashion. it's a red, a little flashing there. And if you're too far out, it could just be lost to the sauce. Yeah, Hollow Bastion does have a lot of... It's got a lot going on, but it's uh, the Smashville layout plus the big blast zones make it just so perfect for Snake, who wants access to a, a wide platform to play around with C4 and grenades and different setups, but also doesn't want to risk the, C, the survivability decrease on a stage like Smashville. Mm -hmm. All right, C4 is back on the left side. There's that forward tilt coming out again. Zoom. Going, oh, almost, almost caught him. Oh. It's oh, but the C4 caught him. Again, like... The, the BB needs to keep better track of those C4s. For sure. Like, the awareness from Bobo to, like, constantly reposition them, because they've been, I guess they've been realizing that BB has gotten hit by a ton of C4s, and they're just getting lost. And what's actually been very useful from Bobo is uh, he will keep them in one place, he'll get rid of it, and he'll put it in the same place, so BB can't keep track of it. Yeah. Infinite mix-ups when it comes with placing an autonomous, like, explosive. That B reverse there, keep in mind, it's on the left side of the stage, so he, Bobo might be looking for a back throw if he finds a grab here. If this edge guard doesn't work out, oh, it's gonna work no out. No zoom again. Wow, the odds on that, too. In the bubble, zoom has increased uh, odds of popping up, so the fact that BB got unlucky twice in a row is... Uh, that's tough. Hey, gambler's fallacy that you're gonna get it every time. Fair enough, right? You know, we can't all. As we, we can see there, yeah, that winners. clank with the fire. Oh Ooh. yeah. No, snake backer is crazy. Like, and, and the position, the willingness to throw that out from VV, like throw out the frizzle, mm -hmm. is a correct notion of like I want to, I'm gonna burn out some mana. I'm gonna stall myself in the air, like and break through most characters approaching in that instance, just getting caught by the hitbox, and that's, I mean, that's them's the breaks, right? Right, exactly. Speaking of which, great Nikita play there, realizing that he didn't have a bounce. Yeah, that's tough. No zoom, bounce, and Nikita okay, there. so let me do I'm gonna do some this. Okay, let's set up no that. jump as well. Oh, no. Nope. Ah, this one. hello. This one. Not this one. So the thing is, oh no. Yes. it's supposed <laughs> to be me and Fawn on stream right now. Correct. But... Ah. <laughs> There's no one to run the stream right now. Wow. Listen, so we, let me let's just it. watch this. Let me let's it. just watch this for now.